Hi everybody, it's Susan. I'm here to share a special project with you this evening. I wanted to do something incorporating my own style into using the wild orchid craft flowers. So I've been really contemplating for a while um, doing another Venetian mask, but I thought that I would give it a go once again, and this time I wanted to make something for my craft room. So what I would like to share with you is this really beautiful Venetian mask incorporating rhinestones, pearls, vintage seam binding, tassels, uh, eyelashes, and um, some uh, gold spray paint onto a very beautiful um, ceramic mask. Um, this mask was spray painted first several times um, in between letting it dry for a few days. And mind you, I am down on the floor with a piece of red silk um, so that I can give you a good view um, of the mask. And um, as you can see, the background is all painted and I have several different kinds of rhinestones. There's flourishes on there and even the one starting off by the eyes, if you can see behind the eyes there are uh, lavender and black rhinestones, uh, one lavender, one black and so on. And underneath is a row of just a clear rhinestones. We also have some really beautiful wild orchid crafts, a variety of flowers really very beautiful and um, that cascades down the side of the face and there are some of those new calla lilies absolutely stunning in a uh, purple rose I just love their flowers um, you have more of the flourishes here which are from Prima and um, you have some more wild orchid craft flowers here and I coil the stems and there's my new technique of um, making this uh, gathered um, gathered vintage seam binding. I can do a tutorial on that if anyone is interested in seeing that. Please let me know. Um, and coming back across the mouth, I did try to paint the lips but it didn't work out. Um, the paint did not stick to the um, to the gold paint. I think maybe because it was acrylic on top of the airbrush paint. Um, and on the other side you have again, I, I use the same grouping of flowers cascading all uh, throughout the side of the face. Very beautiful. And um, on this side I also put a piece of yellow vintage seam binding tied into a bow. The eyelashes were adhered from the other side. So I'll pick this up. If you look at it and I flip this over you'll see the other side are the eyelashes. I know they're quite large and dramatic and that's the idea. And so, working its way down, there's just a couple of pearls in there. And the handle I just, um, I just spray painted and then I put a, a vintage seam binding bow here. And this really beautiful um, tassel, uh, which is from um, my local fabric store. And there are some crystals that are hanging in between that. So when you let it hang, it looks really pretty, which this I'm going to be putting on the wall in my craft room. Um, if you want to try this, guys, you can go ahead. I mean, it's, it was really um, time-consuming, but like I said, I did want to do something that was a little different, incorporating my style into wild orchid craft flowers. So if you're interested in um, purchasing some of these flowers, you can go to www.wildorchidcrafts.com. They have a beautiful selection of all different kinds of flowers, laces, and other embellishments for any kind of project. As you can see, it's not only a paper project, but this is actually a home decor project. So I hope you like it. Have a good weekend, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.